This is the Osmo Action 3. Yes, it's been out for a while, and yes, there is a new one out, but does that mean that the Action 3 should be disregarded, when this can still be a companion for capturing life's most dynamic moments with cinematic flair and precision? Whether it's a high-speed chase or a serene dive, this camera is engineered to turn every frame into a masterpiece, particularly if you're not wanting to use your expensive camera or phone. I've been using this to document my fitness journey and practice my vlogging skills, but while I'm not using this to its full potential, this is the realm of these cameras where every moment is an epic waiting to be unveiled and captured. What is the Osmo Action 3's secret source? I think it's a blend of user savvy and cutting edge technology. You can hone your skills, master the angles and let the camera stabilization, sensors and color science do the rest. The result, footage that's not just seen, but is felt. We'll explore the nitty gritty of the Osmo Action 3 from its 1 over 1.7 inch CMOS sensor to the 155 degree ultra wide view that misses nothing. And with an f2.8 aperture, low light is no longer seen as a low chance. Now while it doesn't have the low light vision of its successors like the Osmo Action 4, but you can tweak the manual settings a little bit and the Osmo Action 3 still shines in some low light environments. So this probably would be perfect for the casual creator who's not afraid of a little brain in low light. With a 0.3 meter to infinity, you can stay sharp with those images. And with an ISO range of 100 to 12,800, it will adapt from dawn to dusk environments. Snap 12 megapixel photos and record up to 4K in 60 frames per second. And for the colorists out there, the 10 bit depth means a billion hues to play with and the HDL mode keeps your contrasts crisp. The three mics on this camera, two here and one at the top, cut through the noise and the built-in stabilization in the Rocksteady, Rocksteady 3.0, the Horizon Balancing and the Horizon Steady modes ensures your story stays smooth no matter what action you're filming. This is the ultra wide angle with no stabilization on. So I'm using the ultra wide camera with stabilization off. So it might be a little bit, a bit wobbly as I'm moving around but this is with no stabilization on so you're getting the 455 degree field of view this is the wide angle with no stabilization on so this is the ultra wide view again but this time I'm using the rock steady stabilization so it has cropped in a little bit this is the standard or the d warp angle with no stabilization on so i'm using the ultra wide view again but this time the stabilization is on rock steady plus so once again it's cropped in a little bit so it might be a little bit more stable than the rock steady one definitely a lot more stable than having no stabilization so this is the wide angle view with the horizon balancing stabilization on so if i do this with my hand and you can see on this camera what i'm doing this is the ultra wide view in horizon balancing stabilization so it's going to try and keep the horizon steady if you tilt about 45 degrees so if i'm moving the camera out like getting like rotating it like that and it should be steady so this is the wide angle view in horizon steady mode so it should always keep the horizon level so if i do this with the camera Turn it upside down and back again, as you can see what I'm doing in the main camera. I should be level 360 degrees of the camera, so it probably looks crazy from your view, but if you're looking on that camera there, you can actually see what I'm doing with the camera and it is actually staying horizontal. So this is the ultra wide view in horizon steady stabilization. So this is going to be the most steadiest, this is the best stabilisation that the Osmo Action 3 can do. So no matter what, if I move my hands, so I'm currently going up and down like that. Probably can't see it, but you've probably seen it in when I was indoors showing you. That's what you can do. So I can go 360 degrees and there should be no deviation along the horizon line as far as you know, but obviously I know I could be, I could be going up and like this, jumping up and down like that, and it should be steady still. This is what the microphone sounds like on the DJI Osmo Action 3. Now this is, it's a little bit drafty around me, but the wind noise reduction is on, but sometimes I do feel if it's drafty around the camera, then it will pick up those noises but 
you've got the microphones two at the front and one on top so hopefully if I turn it around like this you should still be able to hear me talking even if I'm not facing the camera because it's using the microphone that's on top of the camera and if you find you don't like the onboard microphone then you can plug in your own external microphone you might have a wireless lab microphone uh, that goes straight into the USB-C slot on the Osmo Action itself so as you can see I've got the sun behind me and this is what the glare looks like so you've got the glare coming directly off the sun so just let me know in the comments what you think about the glare so I've taken it off HDR mode and it's now in the normal video mode using the normal colours so this is what it looks like and if I change it to using the 10-bit colour profile this is what it looks like so this is using the flat d like profile and if we were to colour correct it this is what it looked like A 1,770 milliamp hour extreme battery defies the cold and lasts for nearly three hours. And for the aquatically adventurous of you out there, dive down to 60 meters with no case needed. Having a setup like this should be a vlogger's dream because you'll love that quick swap mounting system and the dual screens for their effortless framing and reviewing. With screens on both sides, one here and the other one here, you'll never miss a shot. So it could probably be seen as one of those ultimate tools for creators who demand real-time precision. And those dual touchscreens offer that seamless navigation, ensuring you're always just a tap away from the perfect setting. And with voice control, you can go hands-free and stay in the moment. While the Ozo Action 4 boasts a larger sensor, enhanced stabilization, and deeper waterproofing, if night shoots are your thing, then it's a no-brainer to probably get that. So while the Osmo Action 4 is a true flagship option, excelling in image quality and durability, if you prioritize low light performance and want best in class features, the Action 4 is worth the upgrade. However, if you're on a budget and mainly shoot in daylight, then the Action 3 still offers great value. My verdict on the Osmo Action 3, it's rugged, it's reliable, it's ready for anything, perfect for vloggers, action seekers and anyone in between. It may not be the flashiest in the lineup, but it delivers where it counts without draining your wallet. What you'll enjoy with this, particularly if you've not used one of these before, is its convenience. From those dual screens, easy to mount system, especially with that frame on, giving you instant swapping between vertical and horizontal orientations. It's easy to use, and with cameras like these in general, there's so many mounting options for you. That means you're not having to risk your more expensive phone or camera in the pursuit of getting that spectacular shot, or because it can be done with this. Whether you're a vlogger, an action sports enthusiast, or someone who just loves capturing life's moments, like I've been, as I said before, documenting my fitness journey, the Osmo Action 3 stands as a rugged companion, ready to document your own journey. It may not have all the bells and whistles of its successor, the Action 4, or the evolved form factor in the Pocket 3, but it holds its own reliable performance, a user-friendly design, and a price point that won't break the bank. So if you're looking to step up your action camera game without stepping over your budget, then the DJI Osmo Action 3 might be that perfect fit for you. If you're interested in getting this, I'll leave an Amazon link to it in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, press the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. And I'll see you on the next one.